so I'm just off the bed, guys. Um, Lauren's put in some uh, micellar water on my skin because my skin's really bad at the minute. Um, I've just been making my way through loads of packets of chocolate. So I think that's why I've got a real bad outbreak of spot. And uh, then I think we're putting <laughs> <laughs> all rubbed into my eye more like it. And I think we're, um, geez, I'm soaked. <laughs> I think we're now moving on to some smelly, <laughs> horrible tea tree oil. Um, and it constantly, when you walk around, you just feel like you keep getting wafts of poo particles. <laughs> it's, oh, here we go. This oh. only goes on your spot, You can't though. smell it, but it's disgusting. <laughs> My eyes may disappear in a minute because they make your eyes just squint. It like... helps you sleep, though. Yeah, well, apparently, apparently it does. It knocks you out. It's just vile. But you can see my skin's really shiny now. Bear with. My face is drenched. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you're so Apparently wicked. you need moisturiser in your eyes as well, guys. You do! Get moisturiser right in your eyeball. <laughs> Jesus! Done. Oh, I look like a new person. <laughs> look like I've got less hair. Just light bouncing off my head. So, you can see, look at the state of these. But, yeah, this is basically my life at the minute. That's my evening routine at the moment. All this crap being chucked on my face. Yeah, so we're off to bed now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, good night's sleep, I suppose, even though I was up at about half past three. I had to take a Rennie, didn't I? I stomach last night. Felt like something was beating me up. Managed to get back to sleep. As you can see, my face still got this massive spot here. That's not gone anywhere. But hey ho, but today I think we're going to be doing some chocolate making and maybe record another video i think i've got some stuff arriving today and then oh, i've also got to ring the bank so no doubt i'm going to be on hold for days on end and we may go over and see my parents yeah i just need to sort this out um because it's an absolute mess but yeah i'm gonna hop in the shower guys. morning guys i'm just um starting to do my chocolate making today um this delivery that I've been waiting for all week has arrived, and this has my new chocolate mould in. Um, sorry for any background noise, you might hear it. We, we are our apartment, our flat backs onto a, a train track. I better wait from just having some coke. Is it just me or does anybody else just in the morning have coke or a fizzy drink or a chocolate or something like that all the time? I normally start with a coffee, then normally move on to a Red Bull. It's not the healthiest, but gets me going. Right, let's see what's inside this. So we've got my Christmas tree mould here. My Merry Christmas mould. These are to make some Christmas tree chocolate lollies. Santa head lollies. I can now get on and start making my chocolates. I'm not just making chocolates because I've woke up this morning and thought I'd turn it into a master chocolatier. I'm literally making chocolates because I have another business and that involves chocolate making and I need to get these made so I can take some pictures of them, chuck them in my brochure. So yeah, I hope you guys will keep on well at home in lockdown. So I'm just getting some milk chocolate here. Just chuck some milk chocolate into a bowl. Like this. And I see it so fill the bowl up with chocolate. Whack this in the microwave, let it melt. I'll show you what I actually made the other day. So, I made this little beauty the other day. It's a chocolate slab, and I put a nice little pink ribbon around it as well. It's a nice gift idea. You see, some of it's melted. You've got to work all the other chocolate into it, otherwise, all that will happen is the chocolate will bloom. Uh, blooming of chocolate is basically when it gets too hot, it goes white, and nobody wants a white chocolate because you open the wrapper and you think it's gone mouldy. Oh, baking paper, that's what I need. I've got the baking paper. There it is. A bit of non-stick non baking paper. Especially now about you in the sides. Because if I do, Lauren will go mental. This is basically the day in the life of Josh, which isn't as riveting as some people may think. 
As soon as it's melted down, we're gonna start whacking them into these molds and start making some great little shapes. What's everybody up to then um, today? Are you waiting for Boris as well as we are, just to let us know whether we're allowed to go out and see people again, whether we're allowed to go to the pub. There's only so much drinking indoors you can do until your neighbors start thinking that you're a borderline alcoholic. Here we go, the melted chocolate. So we're finally there. Oh, little taste. This one made my morning. We're not even at like 11 a.m. and I'm already drinking cans of coke. I've already had my coffee and now I'm eating chocolate. So also when I get out of this lockdown, I'm probably gonna weigh um, an extra five stone. So I can't can't wait for that really. The joys of life, eh? Yeah. So I'm gonna start with the star mould here. I'm just literally gonna pour the chocolate in. So pour the chocolate across the mould. So I've just poured the chocolate on pretty shitty to be honest. But then I'm just gonna smooth it out like this, get it in. All the cavities. So that's one one done. Already, this one is the beauty with these molds. It's plastic molds. I think they cost me like a pound each. And you just slap the chocolate in and let it set, and then you've got yourself a shape. Chocolate's just running everywhere now. I've lost complete control of the bulb. Oh shit. I've lost complete control of the bulb. And that is going absolutely crazy now. Yeah, if you don't want um, to create a mess, probably wouldn't uh, start doing this. But again, I need to get it done because I need to get these images done for today. I've dragged this out long enough. Um, it feels like as soon as we're out of lockdown, it's going to be Christmas. Now we're doing Santa Lolly. We're in very good mood today, which is uh, which I'm not too sure why, because I've woken up and I'm doing the same old crap that I do every day. Uh, and now I'm just looking for my chocolate sticks. No, well, not chocolate sticks, I'm looking for sticks to put in my chocolate. Uh, and they are somewhere. In here, I It's like art attack, this. Oh, let me get my breath back. Even bending down now is a problem and a challenge. Um, yeah, so this is all stuff that you're just gonna have laying around, but again, you could probably get away with using straws on it. Two sticks are in. So I've got two sticks in, and then what you do is you just cover the top of the sticks so your chocolate lolly doesn't just pop off. There we go, perfect. So there is my chocolate lollies done. Cracking these out this morning. Gives you something to do, doesn't it? Look at these two chocolate cups that I made the other day. Green one and a blue one for uh, Christmas. Fill that up with like a nice mousse, put it onto the dessert. Just remove, just move the, just moving the egg mayo. Bosh, done, Romeo done. Done it all. Right. So, um, I now need to tidy up. The trains again. It seems to be like a lot of people are watching the videos, but they're not subscribing. So what do I need to do to get you guys to subscribe? That's what I keep thinking to myself. So I thought today, wake up, a little bit of chocolate, sort of tempt you, get your taste buds going. I'll show you what they all turn out later, just so you can see that um, I have actually made this stuff and they do look quite good. I might even show you eating it because that's all I seem to be doing at the minute is eating chocolate. So I'll speak to you all later. All right. right, so we're now just off to my mum and dad's to drop off their auntie back. There's my chauffeur over here, sun's out. So it's a positive, positive vibe day. We're gonna go and drop off the auntie back in the extension lead. It's in the back of the car that I told you about this morning. So my dad can cut the grass. So. Go drop these off and then we'll be back to uh, record some hauls for uh, this weekend. So speak to you later, guys. Right, so we've just done the delivery to mum and dad. They're all happy and now we're off to Tesco's to buy a load of food to make us fat. So just come out of Tesco's. This is what we've decided to buy. Got a 20 bottle case of Budweiser there, Doritos, 
It's all sorts of chocolate. It's basically it's just a load of unhealthy crap that we've decided to buy, but it will keep us going for another few days. Before I buy two scratch cars while I was at Tesco's, two five pound ones. Do you know what I want? Absolutely nothing. On to positive things. I'm cooking dinner, which is another meal just to make us a little bit more chunky than we already become. And tonight I'm cooking four Italian inspired pancetta and smoked garlic hot dogs from Tesco. So they're gluten free. I'm not too sure how they're going to taste it's the first time that we've had them, but we give them a well and we're just having them with some chips. So hopefully they're nice. But that's dinner time. So, and then I think we're just going to chill. Oh, I'll show you some chocolates. I'll show you those chocolates that I made this morning as well. So you can have a look and see how they've turned out. And then I'm probably going to sit here, watch some programs and eat the chocolate. So, yeah, that's my evening planned. So what are you guys up to this evening? I hope it's uh, not as boring night as mine. So, dinner's in. And I'm just waiting for... Lauren, she's now taking the makeup off. She only seems to put makeup on at the minute when we're recording a YouTube video, which I'm not too sure why, because she looks a lot better than I do with this giant spot still on my face that we're trying to get rid of with the minging tea tree oil that no doubt will go back onto my face tonight. But yeah, so sorry for the clothes. Uh, the towels that are in the back, we seem to have two clothes horses just in the bedroom with towels on. Um, because we use so many of the bloody things. You well, use so many. See, gobble it off again, isn't she? So, just waiting for her to take her makeup off, and then dinner's going to be about 25 minutes. So, we probably put the blacklist on. We've been watching the blacklist. I've already watched it. I, um, watched it about five years ago, and then I saw it pop up again, and I said to Lauren, oh, you'll really like this. Um... So we're now giving it a go. What do you think of Blacklist so far, babe? Yeah, I like it so far. It's good. Yeah, so she's quite hard to please when it comes to watching stuff. So we um, we watched The Sinner. Lauren had watched The Sinner and said, oh, what, you watch it. Because I'm, I'm not very good with scary stuff. Um, and it was a little bit weird. Any of you that have seen The Sinner, it is quite good. For those of you that haven't seen it, give it a watch. Definitely worth it. It'll kill some time. Um, and then we finished Prison Break. Anybody that's watched Prison Break, have you aged like 30 years? It felt like it went on forever, didn't it? Yeah, but it's because we started watching it from the beginning. A lot of people probably watched it years ago when it was on. It went on forever. I feel like, all right, I know I had nothing better to be doing in lockdown, but how many seasons was it? Uh, was it like eight or something? Seven or eight? It's just a joke. How many prisons can you physically break out of? And how that guy Teabag didn't die, I do not know. His arm was chopped off, and then it was sewed back on, then he pulled it off again. Like, it, the whole thing was just ridiculous. It, it was a good watch, yeah, don't get me wrong. It's, you know, it kills, you know, like 145 hours of your life. But it's worth a watch, and if we're going to be in lockdown for any longer, then give it a go. But yeah, we're back onto Blacklist. That's got, to be fair, that's got five seasons, but. That's all different storylines. It's not just breaking out of prisons all the time. Um, but that's all we've really watched, to be fair. We, oh, we watched, what was that programme we watched on Apple TV? Oh. Oh, Lauren's just squirted moisturiser all over the floor. Sorry, She's what, getting what very excited me? about this riveting conversation we're having. Sorry, what did you ask me? On Apple TV, what did we start watching? What, well, what, it was Good Morning Show, was it? Yeah. With um, Apple TV. Rachel out of Friends, Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, Jennifer Aniston was in it. Um, Good Morning on, on Apple TV. That was all right. I don't think it was anywhere near as good as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. But again, something that's easy watching. We don't really like to watch stuff that's too complicated because, to be honest, we can't be bothered to sit there and think about it for too long. So, yeah, blacklist tonight. I've been making loads of chocolate, um, as you saw this morning, but we went to Tesco's again today and bought a lot of chocolate. I'll show you the chocolate drawer that we've got on our fridge. We've actually got a drawer that's dedicated to chocolate, which Doesn't I'm sure. Know in their house but it's yet. really funny because our chocolate drawer is right next to our salad drawer. <laughs> it's, it's a good one. Like It's always a tough choice. When you go into our fridge, it's either right for salad or left for chocolate. So it's either healthy or really bad for you. But I'll show you now. Let me take you to the fridge so you can see it. 
This is our chocolate drawer at the minute. We've got some galaxies, four smooth galaxies. We've got an M&M bar, caramel nibbles. Lauren loves a nibble, absolutely loves it. We've got some clubs. Do you remember clubs? When they used to be put in your packed lunch when you're at school. They're still being bought in this household. Club Orange, love it. Absolutely love it. We've got some Time Out wafers. Love We've got some milk chocolate Cadbury's fingers. A random crunchy bar. Oh, Lauren's just buttoned in to get a seven up free. Crunchy. Um, digestive chocolate biscuits. Big bar of dairy milk. <laughs> Bag of Maltesers. There we go. Half a finished bar of malt M&M. &M. I made this. I even put a ribbon on to put it in the fridge. Sorry, it says bloody trains again. But this has got honeycomb in, you see? It's like a crunch, it's got honeycomb in. I made this. This is homemade. Half a bar, this is just tasting. And then we've got a random flake that's been in there probably since Christmas. Who or likes flakes? Easter. Everybody likes a no, flake. Too messy. You've got to eat it with a plate, but we've got Colin, a flake. You like a flake. And then we've got two random timeout wafers that have broken out of the packet. Then look, in the deepest, darkest corner of this little box in the fridge, we have three mini Santas. I made these for my Christmas brochure, but we even have these. So again, this is a lot of chocolate. And then when you work your way up our fridge, it's terrible. We have a ham no mayo sandwich from Tesco's, some baby bells, some eggs, some egg mayonnaise, some fruit shoots in the back, a Ribena, a whole shelf dedicated to Budweiser. I need that for the quiz night on Saturday. Then at the top, we've got like sausage rolls, ham, bacon, new potatoes, cheese. And then the door is just full of random crap. We've got nail polish, nail varnish or polish. We've got some other crap over here. And that's amongst the easy garlic from Asda. We've got more mayonnaise, a massive thing. It's on top of two miniature bottles of wine. We've got strawberry jam that we haven't opened in God knows how long. Tomato ketchup, which in my opinion should be in a cupboard, not a fridge. Coke, two pints of milk and seven up three. And now look how pathetic our salad drawer is. It's a drawer that you can't even get in fully because the chocolate one takes precedent. And then we've got some peppers some tomatoes and a bag of salad. And that's literally it. And the chocolate that I made earlier, that I showed you guys is all over here. So now, going into our cupboard where we didn't think we could get any more unhealthy, we've got some chocolate brownie mini bites from M&S. We've got some mini rolls. Remember these mini rolls with the little cream bits inside? In the back of the cupboard, you can see it. We've got some like back Battenberg cakes or something. Some more digestive chocolate biscuits. McCoy's. These mini cheddars, by the way, are banging. These are the new nacho cheese and jalapeno flavour. Worth giving them a try. Some random packets of crisps. Big bag of Doritos, even though we've got half a bag and it's Tupperware, so they don't go stale. And we've also got like a packet of prawn cocktail skips in there, which is very random. Some pistachios, like just in case. And then we've got some hula hoops. And then up here, look at the state of us. We've got some galaxy stuff, after eight, a linked advent calendar that's upside down, just in case we run. This is like our running out of chocolate cupboard. Yeah. Some lint mini pralines, which I've had half of. And then today we went to Tesco's. Instead of getting one bag of four triple Belgium chocolate cookies, we decided to get two bags because we just lo we love chocolate so much. They're on offer two for two pound. They were so soft. You know when you get those soft cookies. And then we've got a whole box of Lindor chocolates. So really, we're not very healthy at all. And these are the chocolates from earlier that I showed you. Um, I don't know if they're ready to come out. Oh yeah, here we go. But this is a lolly that I made. See, see how cute that is? We've got to paint the tree so it's green and then take off the left-hand side of it. But, and then I've got this here. This here, which is, if it comes out, oh yeah, look at this. So this is a Christmas tree bar. How cool is that? Milk chocolate. And then we've got so much chocolate in this house, it's ridiculous. And then Merry Christmas chocolate bar, 
that seems to have bloomed. See, see what I was all about with the bloomies because I didn't let the chocolate cool down long enough. So we've just got loads. And then over here, we've got a whole tub of Smarties that broke on the way here, but you can just get your hand in there and eat some. So this is our life, basically. And then in here's dinner, guys. See those sausages? I don't know what spurted up the glass. I think one of the sausages have exploded. <laughs> Looks like the chips and the sausages were having a fight or something. It's all, over, it's all over the glass. What is that? There's a big waft that comes out of it. It burns your face. Maybe it's from the other day. It doesn't look fresh. No. Lauren's not been doing her cleaning properly. But this is dinner tonight, guys. The massive hot dogs and chips just bubbling away. And that is dinner. So it's just dawned on me that I did a wish, a wish haul. And most of the stuff's on a slow boat from China. Um, I've only just realised that we're in a pandemic of coronavirus. And I thought it'd be a great idea to do my local shop in China. Um, in Shenzhen or something like that. Um, they're being processed, they're due to be here in maybe a couple of weeks, that's providing the boat doesn't get stopped or sink or something, but I'm expecting to have the stuff between the 12th and 19th of May, but they're still currently in China with coronavirus, slightly worried. Does anybody else have this problem in their house that we have these pillows on the, on the bed and every night when I get into bed, I take them off. Then every morning, when I get back in, I have to put them back on the bed. You see this one? I'm not allowed to put this. When I put them off the bed, onto the floor, I'm not allowed. To, this one can't touch the floor. So then I have to take them off and put it there. And I'll, then I'll put this one. Then this one. And then I stack this one on here. And then my phone sits here for the night. So it's like a bedside table. But... In the morning, I know what will happen. I'll get ready, come back in, get dressed, and then I'll have to put all four of these pillows back onto the bed. So, to be honest, it's just bullshit. It's not needed.